Get your best baths here, best baths here, most relaxing baths in all of Minato. These are your new best baths, best baths, half price of the old rubbish baths. These are your new best baths. You may think this is unfair competition right outside the old baths place, but trust me, that man does not give a shit about anything, because these are your new best baths. Just ask this satisfied customer. It's a bath. It doesn't go past my knees, but it's there. We didn't have much budget for water. We went with volume of baths over depth of baths. But uh, what about the temperature? Steaming. The temperature, buddy, there you have it. It is steaming. Honestly, it's golding. I'm a little bit concerned for my health. You stay in the bath. I've paid you for the full hour, you little shit. Please help. Now you listen here, all right? <laughs> I didn't expect it to let me, to let me just jump. I'll need you to speak up. I'm not wearing a towel. Do I know how the baths are powered? No. Well, I guess, yeah. It's a secret family recipe from my snake mother. Is it perhaps carrot curry? No, it's one ember plume, uh, plume per bath. Are you sure it's not the fire I can see underneath the bath? How about you shut up and uh, do you want to go help me expand the business? I don't think I have a choice. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to sample my own wares. Oh, God, you're right. <laughs> how hot is it? Who temperature checks this? I guess it was me. Yeah, let me make it hotter. <laughs> they call him Facewood. The power to fade through wood with only his face. Okay, we just need to go hunt. Look, this is going nowhere. They call him Cloth Face. The power to face his face through only cloth. <laughs> Excuse me? Never question me. All right, where's our, where's our boy? That's the chicken. Let's not go towards the chicken. Let's go yeah. towards the much more pretty, majestic, and impressive-looking bird. bird. Sorry, Dreadclaw, but you, you know, you're a freaky little, little coral, coral bird. <laughs> oh, he's up on the thing! Let's go he's, have a... He's perched up on a boat, yeah. <laughs> I love this creature. The golden feathers, beautiful. the, well, peacock-like tail, and by like tail, I mean it's a peacock tail. Dude, he's awesome. He's awesome. He's just awesome. Oh, yeah, no, I love it. Look at him. <laughs> well, I mean, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, wow. It's like tinge of yellow before it goes blue. I mean, don't mind if I do. That looks like it's my fault. That looks like it's my fault. <laughs> it does look like it's your fault. You're right. Oh, look at it. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> you mean that's not even his enrage? What's his enrage do then? Oh, okay. It's just not stopping. Yeah, he's just doing that at you. What did you realize? For the third time, he flies. What is this? What is this? What is purple fireballs? I don't know. Why? Well, in, th in theory, purple fire should be hotter than blue fire, so it's just implying that he's growing in heat. I mean, he's growing in hotness, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna grab onto his he chest. Like he, he, he feels weirdly mm. slow in a way. Give me that! Give me that! Oh, I've just made a little, little wound spot him. Oh, I feel kind of bad now. I'm gonna hit him with a harpoon. Oh, yeah, you can bring him down! Ow! That's why I mentioned that he flies. That was the whole point of me bringing it up both times. I know. And he just, he just It's kept, okay. He calm just, down. Just, calm down, little man. Calm down. You're okay. You're okay. I don't think you do know. He also completely ignored the whole thing. So. Well, yeah. He he sort of dodged as the harpoon fired. So I think it just missed. Like, he's so amazing. No, I, I love this creature. Yeah. I love that he makes little fires appear underneath you. I say little fires. Massive bursts of flame. But, you know, please stop. That doesn't seem like it's in his repertoire. Get away from the cliff. You're ruining your whole aesthetic. No, cliffs aren't part of his aesthetic. You're right. Oh, I don't have spikes anymore. I just made two pointless boxes. Oh, he has a little little purple oh. fire charge. Oh, you don't say. Oh, seeing his full spread from behind is very intimidating. That sounds like a weird way to word that, but I can't disagree. <laughs> Look, man, I don't want you to tell you. I just had a good look at his full spread from behind. I just like watching him spread from behind. My favorite things. Oh, my God. Get him! Oh. I did that backwards, I want you to know. I did that, but you didn't need to. You don't get more damage for style points. No, I did. That's that's the angle it's at. The angle of the thing is it's facing the other direction, so I just reversed the whole way. I can't tell how this guy feels. Like, what I've used mean? a lot of healing and taken all the damage, but it feels like it's much calmer than Golden Tempest. Oh no, it, it definitely is. He's, he's a lot slower and floatier, which makes it easier to dodge a lot. I have a sneaking suspicion his enrage is probably going to be apocalyptic. 
I would like to be picked up. Uh, would you like our express service, or would you like two to three working uh, days? Definitely the express service. I think they'll be dead in two to three working days. That will cost extra. I don't have money. I, I just have life force. <laughs> That's the one you think it's going to cost. I do require one-fifth of your soul now. Uh, I don't have a soul. Do you take credit? <laughs> Can I go in soul debt, please? I have a few people with equally separate and valid claims to my, uh, my mortal coil. <laughs> Yeah, the main thing is he does oh, a load okay, okay. of damage when he hits, but it's generally not too bad to avoid the hits. He feels very methodical rather than sporadic. Yes, yeah, like there's a very there's a lot of deliberacy to this whole encounter. Like you can't just be like, that's an attack, I will press dodge now. You have to recognize what attack it is and the way to do it best. I swear I just hunter's armed him, but I didn't get any thread, and he still got the blue spot where I was grabbed onto. I'll try again. Well, then, I'll be honest with you. The evidence you've just presented to me sounds like you, in fact, did not hunter's arm him. Well, I did I did the whole animation, and then it just was like, never mind. Oh, yeah? 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 Harpoon! Yeah, baby! Harpoon! Get pulled down! There's no bird like a harpoon bird, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's like 700 damage. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not, a, I'm not, uh, I'm not, okay. He's gonna go purple when he's angry. I'm, um, um, I, wow. <laughs> I'm not even sure what downed me because he was in the middle of the enrage. He didn't actually enrage yet. He's tail wow, that's like, great. Oh, that's incredible. And now he's just got real big purple beams. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know what to do. I don't think you're going to be able to get me, and I don't blame you. No, I, I'm sorry. But it, oh, his explosion tracking is like three times the size. Oh, God. That is unbelievably cool. Yeah, he is incredible. He's so unbelievably cool. His feathers are just amazing now. The ethereal, like, blue glowy flame covering them. Yeah. His body's not even really changed. It's all in the tail, baby. Well, it seems like the main source of his power. Recommend harpoon. Oh, Jesus. That's just everywhere. Oh. Well, I caught him. I caught a bird. Oh, you've pinned his wings. You've pinned his wings. This is good. I'm glad that I did, because if I didn't, I don't know if I would have had the time to heal. I feel like we, his tail's on a weak spot, but I feel like we're going to want his tail, you know? Yeah, that's a really good point. Oh, he's got the same kind of 360 plus spin that, that Golden Tempest does, where he does over the length of his body spin. Yeah, yeah, they did it to each other in the air. That's, that's how I the rivals. They both were really good at spinning. Yeah, that's fair. Ow! Oh, spike him, spike him. Uh, I would if I wasn't healing myself from death. I love that he has to actively control the flames. Like, you see his wings going. Yeah. Oh, he's already over. Bonk. Interesting. Take the bonks we can get in life. Oh, we definitely take those bonks. Maybe he's very deliberately got a super intense enrage, but it doesn't last long. Seems reasonable enough. That was a good amount of damage. That was a really good amount of damage, you know? We already see him. He's leaving now, so it was a good amount of damage for sure. Ember Bloom, Fire Claw. Yeah, there's definitely, I feel like, a stark difference in difficulty between this and Golden Tempest, but they also just feel very different conceptually. I broke his head. That's what that was. I've been... All of my big hits have been on his head, so that's that's a good thing. Oh, it's so easy to hit those on him. His tail covers so much ground that when he turns, he just it, it hits half the zone, and then it counts if the claw hits that. Let me just grab on here, stick my arm in that, and... Punch it deeply. Grab here, arm in there. Yeah, I didn't get the thread again. It just failed again. That's exactly what happened the last time. I did the whole animation. I don't get the thread. The blue spot's still there. That's the second time it's happened and the second time I've tried it. Oh, I love this fight. Oh, get him. Get him. Are you on the tail? What, what are you doing? Why are you reversed? Yeah, I'm not intending. I'm back, I'm backing up to get to his back, you know? Come on. In Go the on, neck. Get him. Right get in him. The neck. Yeah. Yeah. Right in the neck. There we go. Successful neck maneuver. Oh, God. That's too many of those. That's too many of those. Oh. Sorry. Got a big hit on his tail. I really want it. I really want it. I think we can break his tail. I swear they've stayed bigger ever since his enrage. I don't think they were ever smaller. Like, I don't. I never saw them be small. Ow. Especially because it's a targetable spot. I had a moment of, wait, how did you How did you dive in this game? I don't understand. No, it was just you blown away by it. Is he leaving? Oh, he's leaving. Yay! We don't have to choose between water and fighting him. Yeah. Now we can have both. Leaving so soon, he says, covered in third degree burns. You should have left sooner. Would have been better for me. <laughs> Leaving so late, please, for the love of God, it hurts. Oh, I've just realized. Remember that lovely mystical, like, mountain grass zone? Yeah, that, that adds up. Yeah. That's clearly his, his, his whole, his whole big it dig. Would make sense. Look at him just falling in water! Um, what are you doing? No, he's using his tail to, like a parachute to reduce the, the, the climb. Alright, I think we've reached he will only be enraged while fighting us. Yeah, that seems likely. We are, he's definitely... 
not quite as tough as Golden Tempest on an attack by attack standpoint, but there's a there's a very fun rhythm to this fight. Oh, oh no. I destroyed his tail! Well, good, I'm dying. Oh man. Wow, his tail looks crazy. Okay, that's just gonna go now. Okay. Like I've like shut down his tail, like it's darkened and ruined. Yeah, no, it looks it looks terrifying. The beam, which is essentially just a line of fireballs, which is awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, I hate that attack so much. I'm surprised. It's a much easier rhythm to dodge than Golden Tempest triple triple bounce down. And the problem is he keeps starting it like it launches faster than the triple bounce down. And he keeps doing it when I'm in the middle of an animation. Like, I keep being healing and then getting hit by that. Oh, that actually hit him. Heal animation. It cost me a hit, right. but it hit him. To be fair, if I can trade one water per per full charge attack, I, I, I will be in, I'll have good business. Did he just walk up a rock? And then fall off the rock. Uh, that happens sometimes, I guess. Ember Plume, I, you gotta control your legs. He doesn't seem like much of a leg guy. The one thing about that attack is it gives the other player like eight seconds of opening to hit. Yeah. The first one yes. always hits me, but then the second two are really easy rolls, so I'm not too upset about it. Oh, yeah, no, I don't have a problem when that happens. My issue is when I'm trying to heal because I'm low health, and then it launches faster than I can dodge because I'm in the middle of the animation already. Slow and steady wins the bird race. Yes! Down! <laughs> He's really struggling. Birds just look so not graceful. Yeah. I do like how birdy the actual bird creatures are in this game. Yes, though. that makes me very happy. Oh, I got a KO! Apply pressure! Get him. Tell him Apply he'll never pressure. achieve his dreams and that he'll never make his father proud. I think this is about as much pressure as I can apply. Give him the full childhood. What? Give him a full childhood. Oh, he's frosted as well. Oh, he landed on me. Yeah. What does Frost actually do? Can we work it out from this? Look, all I know is that it's not good for him, and then that fault makes me happy. That's, that's what I assume. Okay. But what if we're wrong? What if we're wrong? What if he loves being iced up? He might. Maybe it makes him able to do more fire attacks because he doesn't overheat. That me? No. It you. That true. But me hit. I think you in line with me. Behind Bird was when start towards you. Yeah, charge charge hit when behind. Weird not like, but Big true. pain not not fair. Agree. Good. Good talk. Good good talk. Continue good talk later. Current bird die. Huh? Cool. <laughs> <Ka -ka. laughs> Did you like my caca hit? It was a good car. I thought right. I thought it would confuse him if I like made a bird sound cuz he'd like is there another bird here? Fuck. See? I told you! All you have to do to kill a bird is yell at him birdly. Oh, he's so beautiful. I feel bad about Exceedingly this. Exceedingly calmer and chiller. I mean, okay, that's that's wrong. He's got teeth on the inside of his beak. That always worries me. Yeah, beaks with teeth is a rubbish band and a rubbish design. Other than that, though, beautiful. No, he's amazing. He's amazing. Very much more approachable than Golden Tempest, but I also think bit. Golden Tempest forced us to get, like, the next level of good yeah. at this game. So, the Peacock... Well, both good and our weapons are way better yeah, than we yeah. started. The Peacock Golden might Tempest. have just paid for Golden Tempest's successful beating of our asses for hours. Basically. I think if we'd done them the other way around, we'd be like, oh, Golden Tempest is a bit easier than, than, uh, than Ember Plume. Either way, let's go. I'm so happy he, he didn't actually, like, kill-kill me. Hey. Oh. You're really just gonna stand in my in my peacock shop. Well, I was already here. You're, you're stop bowing to my ass. I just I just nutted your hammer. That's so painful. Please don't say it that way. That I nutted your hammer? Yeah, that's not a term that people use outside of the specific context that it's originally used in. <laughs> Headbutt nutted someone. Headbutt is not synonymous with nut. <laughs> Nobody calls your head your nut. Oh, please let his armor be beautiful. Oh, it's got to be good. And on fire. Beautiful and on fire. Is his eyeball <laughs> vibrating? Yes. We did the finishing blow right. You can't just pretend to be dead, buddy. I think he is dead. That's just sort of how he goes, you know? <laughs> Unless he's, like, seeing the truth of the universe. Like, <laughs> the knowledge is absorbed into his blood brain. Or either that or he's having a, having a stroke. Yes, we just we all just watched them fight each other. Yeah, you you literally were listening in on my comms. No more deadly beasts on the horizon. That's not a thing you say. Yeah, that's yeah, I totally I'm with you. Oh yeah, I believe that, yeah. Sure. Oh well, there's a high third. Don't say yeah. we'll earn! Yeah. Don't say we'll earn, you'll do us all! We may have a problem here. Oh, I love that they just kinda do. slide into shot, like yeah. rotate like, in. She didn't even Hello. it didn't even look like she ran, it just looked like she slowly went like quick, we have to do something. If it's a stone's throw from the town, literally, then it'll be here in a few seconds. The fire itself is a kimono. <laughs> it's just gonna get little eyes. 
Wow, we're wasting no time. Uh, this is not Minato. Hmm, yes, it's... It's a fire. Things are on fire. She did say there would be a fire. She did warn us about the situation. What are we investigating? The fire? And why did we investigate the fire from the middle of the fire? I don't know, but it is... Oh, it's something... Our seed is the final kimono, isn't it? Oh, we're having a seed attack. Our seed is the final kimono! I swear, if the final kimono is a giant snake... I feel like whatever it is, either it either caused very coincidentally life-saving seed attack preventing rain, or we just got very lucky. I don't know. So, we basically went, no worry guys, we'll investigate. The investigation walks into flaming fields, stands in the middle of fire, has heart attack, rains, comes back to town. Guys, don't worry, the situation under control. <laughs> Also, can't move my left arm anymore. But that's a problem for another day. Any uh, kimono about? Preferably one that only require a single hand. Oh, God. Oh, what's up? What is with the lack of privacy in this town? Also, who stripped you? You know, that's a really good point. Quietly looks out window. Oh, it's still raining. Contemplates existence. Counts the teeth. Yeah, but how, how long? And Okay, now it's endless. So I think we've been out for a while. Because it literally just started. So, uh... So we're now moving into what kimono is causing this endless flood? They did say this was one of the symptoms of the world going to hell, a constant flooding rain. So, well, you know. before, but they said like there was there's a fire. It keeps spreading. Oh, God, there's a fire. Now that it's raining, it won't stop raining. Oh, God, <laughs> it does feel like this entire town exists like on top of a monkey paw. Well, I think the monkey paw is the carrot curry that we activated at the very start of the story. <laughs> How can we stop this fire if only we had water? Well, you should not have said that. The seed is beating too fast? Well, that's just because I'm excited. That's not a you like, like we said back then, it's not a unique weakness of having Karakuri powers. If anybody's heart breaks, you know, yeah. they die. Should we let everyone in the city know that you might die? Uh, no? Can we not do that? Hey, heads up, if your heart starts beating so fast it's tearing itself apart, that's uh, not good for your health. Strange things keep happening, Suzerain, and I don't know why. Some houses have been swept away. Ow. This city doesn't have houses on land. Like, they're all on wooden structures. That have holes everywhere that leads into an ocean. Yeah, just unkind weather. That's all it is. Oh, okay. I do love that it really does affect everything so much. Damn, that's some rain. That's amazing. Damn it, when they said some houses have been swept away, I got really excited and hopeful I'd get my lovely, lovely open space back. Yeah, so it wasn't, those, those are, those are market stalls, if I'm not mistaken, sadly. Who knew? Did somebody just come to look for us? Uh, I guess so. Well, I mean, we said we'd go look at the fire, and then we didn't come back. Were we just unconscious in the rain? Well, we said we'd go look for the fire, and then the fire stopped, and then we didn't come back. Yeah, they did say we were unconscious in the rain. That was what the first Which is a much said. worse song. Unconscious in the rain. I'm unconscious in the rain. How would you even know it was raining if you were unconscious? <laughs> I'm unconscious in the rain. Man, fucking Yeah, you want this, you want that, want this Komodo people. dead, this apocalypse. Like, I, what I've realized is that Wild Hearts has four chapters, and every chapter has, like, a world-ending, like, Shara-level boss that's causing yeah. just awful things to happen, and it just keeps happening to these poor people. Well, it's, just, it's just the... Before, like, I swear there was, it was basically like, oh, we've got a drought, there's no water, and it's like, all I want is to see the sun one more time. <laughs> oh, look at the peacock waist! It's like a proper skirt of feathers! Critical draw? That probably does exactly what it sounds like. Self-control. Yes, we need, we need to get to some self-control, man. That's important, yeah. Desperation? Self-control and desperation in one armor set. <laughs> Oh, I do like how the chest piece looks. Oh my god, we finally have earplugs. Oh, really? Hey! Deaf ears nullifies the effect of kimono roars. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, that's our ember plume plucked, as it were. I think 
he is my favourite design in the game, and Golden Tempest remains my favourite fight in the game. Which is fitting, considering these are the two big boys. I just, I think I prefer Lava Back as a full package, but he, the, he it's still the, these two right afterwards as, as everything Man, else. you're such a, you're such a, such a, a Lava Back sycophant, man. Like, honestly... What's that gorilla done so. for you? Is he paying you off? Uh, yeah, actually. Just stretchy arm, leaning in, putting some notes in your pocket. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, guys. It looks like next time is going to be real climactic. Like you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good Bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.